Hey everyone, Sparks back with another Goddess of Victory Nikkei video and we are pulling for a new unit Leona and we got our pink lights on the background. I think like this is the most color matching I've ever done. Like my entire room here looks completely pink, but hey, it works. So <laughs> we got our lucky lights here. Hopefully we can get our girl to come out here soon. And then I will do some first impressions testings and I wanna do some testing with her on a variety of shotgun teams with her being our burst two with uh, Tuve as our burst one, and maybe with uh, Leader as our burst one, and then also compare her directly to uh, Viper and Guilty with the same shotgun team of swapping out our burst two. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our first 10 times summon. If you missed my initial skill analysis video, link to that in the description below. All right, give me something good. Purple, change, nothing, okay. Um, if you are wondering, I would say for most people, probably skip her. And it's not because I think she's really bad. I think she could genuinely be useful if we get a situation where shotguns are really a thing. Um, but I know a lot of people are tapped out on Scarlet. Maybe some people miss Modernia. And so those are your big targets. Don't worry too much about this girl. All right, here we go. Number two. Purple, 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 change. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I sound so dramatic. Like it's like it's bad. I've only done two pulls. Um, fortunately, I was pretty lucky with Black Shadow Scarlet, so I'm not too concerned. Um, but if it comes down to it, we'll just use the test unit for our first impressions testing. Change to orange. Oh, we got there. We got there. Okay, okay. Come on. Show me the lion girl. I think it's the next one. Tetra? I forgot what manufacturer she is. What is she? What did we get? Okay, good. We got her. All right. <laughs> I was like, it's Tetra, right? Every unit is Tetra. All right. We got Leona. Very nice. Um, not painful at all. That was a pretty successful summoning session, I gotta say. All right. Let's um, go to the outpost. I haven't checked out anything else with the update yet at all. So I've got like notifications everywhere. Let's put her in the synchro. Um, and I think we'll just buy another spot here. I don't want to wait for the cooldown. I'm going to need to buy more spots eventually anyway. Um, Leona, where are you? Here we go. Cool. So I'm going to do tests with her with like low level skills and then her with the test unit as high level skills. The good thing about this unit that I think is, you know, a plus for anyone who pulls her, particularly if you're short on resources, is that she doesn't really need a lot of investment. So for one, she's not a DPS unit. So as a support in general, you don't need a ton of investment um, on units like that. Um, but number two, if we look at her skills, um, none of these say that they scale off of like her amount of HP or her amount of attack or anything like that. Um, it's just, you know, flat up, flat out increasing crit rate, critical damage, hit rate. The whole pellets thing is a little frustrating. Um, and then, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, um, it, we're not dependent on her individual stats. Oh man, I think I have bad equipment for her though. Okay, well, we have some kind of equipment for her. That's fine for now. We'll we'll keep it. Okay, so um, this would be a really long video if I made you guys watch all of the um, shooting range tests. So we're going to go ahead and cut to the results and I'll show you what they were like for each of the individual teams. And we'll see if she really makes a difference on shotguns. Okay, so our baseline shotgun team here is Tuve, Leona, Sugar, Drake, and Modernia. So um, Tuve is a buffer that would theoretically go on the shotgun team. Leona, of course, is our new unit. And then Sugar is our best shotgun DPS. I'll explain why that is a little bit later. And then um, Drake is kind of a fill-in. And then Modernia is just like a generic DPS that can go, that's like good that she can go on any team, you know, a third one that like isn't gonna burst and, and that's fine. Um, okay, so we are getting um, 231 million, almost 232 million with this team. So now let's go ahead and swap out Leona for Guilty and see what happens. By the way, if you're enjoying these Nikkei videos, please subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, let's see what the next test does.
Okay, so our next lineup is the exact same squad, but this time we are using Guilty instead of Leona. Let's go ahead and see what the damage turns out to be in 2, 1, and... Quite a bit more damage. Okay, so now the really big problem with all these shotgun teams is that we have no cooldown reduction. There's another problem with this as well that I'll talk about after we get another test, but let's go ahead and test her against Viper. All right, this time we got Bunny Suit Viper out here, seeing what kind of damage she can put up in the shotgun team. And the answer to that is... 206 million. Okay, so we're definitely looking at less than both of them with Viper, so I guess good news for Leona. Okay, so let's try one more slightly different squad. <laughs> Alright guys, well I had to try. Like, Isabelle deserves at least a little bit of a time in the, so in the spotlight, right? I mean, <laughs> doesn't she? Hopefully. The damage is pretty bad though, you know, but it is what it is. By the way, if you're curious at what the difference was between level 1 uh, skills on Leona and level 10 skills on Leona, here's a screenshot of what I did with level 1 skills, and you can see that the difference is quite big, like, a lot. So, I mean, it does show that Leona has potential, right? Because the fact that she got so much more damage with high skill levels, um, definitely shows that she's doing something there, right? Um, but I'll tell you the real problem with this that I mentioned earlier. Um, the shotgun team just isn't synergist inner isn't synergistic. Boy, you can tell that I'm recording this at 1 a.m. Um, <laughs> it just it just isn't synergistic. Even though in theory you have all these buffs that work um, to buff shotguns, they just like don't work. So the big problem is that. We don't have any um, cooldown reduction on the shotgun team. So we could take out Tuve and then use leader, but then like, you know, we probably want to use leader on one of our other like really OP teams. And then we're not totally leaning into the shotgun team anyway. Um, we could add a second burst too with someone like um, Dola or uh, maybe, um, you know, Summer Helm or something like that. But then like we're doing two bursts twos and it's just kind of awkward you know um and then if we want to use guilty who is one of the stronger shotgun users then we really don't have room for like a second burst two there is no cooldown reduction on burst three so again that gets awkward um and then we do actually have two super good burst three shotgun users which are of course noir but she needs to be paired with blanc and then that's a whole different team direction that we're going in again um because you know, we want to use utilizing Blanc's damage uh, buff with some of our other really strong units. And then we have another really super strong uh, shotgun unit in Summer Helm. But the problem is she's not really someone that belongs in the shotgun team. She doesn't want to be getting more ammo and rapid fire and whatever because she already fits extremely well in a better team using people like Dorothy and pairing her with Scarlet or Privity and people like that and so it just putting together these shotgun users just isn't really a thing And so then it leaves you with sugar and Drake and as good as sugar is There are better units and Drake has really made this point and like I said the pieces just don't fit together super well so I do feel like Leona is actually pretty good. I'm surprised at the amount of damage difference between her skill 1 version on the same squad and her skill 10 version. So there is something there, but I think we just need a team to actually fit her in. You know, like a lot of these supports, if they get the right unit to support, then maybe they're a thing. But let me know what you guys think. Um, this is very limited view because we are only doing, you know, shooting range tests. But I think that no one needs to feel too stressed out about missing her. Let me know if you cooked up some really good teams for her. I'd be really curious. Um, and I would love to try them out if you did. Anyway, um, subscribe for more Nikkei videos. And I will catch you guys in the next video or stream.